everybody! Welcome to Upsa Daisy Design tutorial on how to design an earring template. This will be part one of two videos. This, they will both be a basic tutorial using basic shapes. The first one will be using the slice option and the second will be using the slice and weld option. So to start with we're going to end up with a design like this. And in the next video, using Slice and Weld, we'll have a design like this. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, once you understand the concept of how to slice an image out of your base shape, you can do this with almost any images. A few little exceptions, but we'll talk about those in a minute. I'm using a laptop for this demonstration, so if you're following along on a phone or a, or a tablet, your icons may be in a different spot but they are there, but they may be a little bit different. So I'm going to go down to the left side where the shapes are for design space and I'm going to pick a triangle. It's just what I've decided I want my base shape to be. It could be a teardrop, it could be round, it could be oval, it can be anything you want. Well, that's never good. Let's try that again. There we go. Got it working. Okay, everybody disregard that. Okay, so I've got a triangle here, but I'd like my triangle to be taller and narrower in here. So to achieve that, I'm going to unlock the triangle shape and I'm going to slide this over until I get the shape that I like. Once I do, I'm going to press the lock button again. What that lock does is keeps things proportional. With the lock on, when you change the height, it changes the width for you and vice versa. With the lock off, it only changes whatever you're moving, be it the height or the width. It doesn't keep it proportional. So now I've got my shape the way I want it, but for me personally, two, over two inches for an earring is a little bit long. So I'm going to go up to the height box and I'm going to change it to a two inch earring. This is personal preference, but that's what I prefer to have is around 1.6 to two inches tall. Now we want to look at putting our heart shape, our slice in there. So again, I'm going to go over to the shapes and I'm going to select the heart and then I'm going to size that down so that it fits into my triangle going to come in very large. This time I'm going to leave the lock on there and I'm going to shrink that heart down so that it fits into my triangle. And you can decide how high up or how low you want it. I want it about there because I'm going to put the hole for my earring about here. Now if you have nothing else on your screen you can use the select all button and it will highlight both the triangle and the heart. If you have other items on your screen, you're going to need to manually highlight both of these. To do that, you're going to single left click and just drag a box, hold that click down, and drag the box over the top of the two shapes. When you're using slice, you can only have two items highlighted. So I have the triangle and the heart. Now I'm going to go to the bottom right of the layer panel and I'm going to select slice. Doesn't look like much happened, but if you look over on the right, you'll now see that I have two hearts and a triangle with a heart cut out of it so that I know slice worked. I'm going to slide this triangle over and you'll see that the heart's now cut out of it. What I'm left with over here is the original heart shape that I cut, used to cut out and the actual heart that it did cut out. So I'm going to delete both of those because I don't need those in my design. Now I'm left with my earring shape. I like to only create one earring at a time and then duplicate it once I've finalized the design of it. That way you're not having to mess with the sizing for two different ones and lining them up perfectly and things like that. This way it does it for you. So this is the way I want my earring. Go over to the Layers panel and select Duplicate. Now I have my left and right earring. If you want to save space when you're cutting out these shapes, then I like to turn one 
upside down and then I can highlight both of these, attach them to my cut and then uh, make my earrings. Now let me run through that again, but this time I'm going to use some shapes out of Design Space. I'm going to go a little faster this time. So shapes, again I will just want my base shape to be a triangle. Unlock it so that I can make it the height that I want. I'm going to lock it and then change the height to two inches. Again, personal preference. Now, instead of going back to shapes, I'm going to go into my images and I'm going to select something. Again, I'm just going to pick a heart, but I'm going to pick one of the design space hearts. I like this one. Um, some of these others will work really well. Some hearts will not work well, or excuse me, some designs will not work well, such as these or these. All they'll do is just cut out and the, the center will fall out so you won't be left with the shape that you're looking for. So look for a shape like this and go ahead and select it and insert it. I'm going to shrink that down. Again I left my lock on and I'm going to place it, make it a little bit bigger there, place it where I want it. Because I have other items on my screen I can't use my select all so I'm going to single left click, hold it, and highlight both of these. Slice, move my triangle, delete, delete, and now I have one earring. But notice this design is not symmetrical and when you're cutting these out you may want one that is turned one way and the other design is turned the other way. So when I duplicate this image, it's going to do just that, make an exact duplicate, but I want one to be kind of a mirror image. So now I'm going to use my option at the top to flip this horizontally. And See now I have one that faces in and one that faces out. And it doesn't matter how you cut them out now, you're always going to get one that goes one way and one that goes the other direction. Hope you found that helpful on how to use slice to make earring designs. Remember you can use almost any shape that you want for your base shape and almost any shape that you want for your cutout. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.